Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about engine cooling system uh, using this simulating block. This example shows how to model a basic engine cooling system using uh, custom thermal liquid blocks. Here, uh, a fixed displacement pump um, pump is there. It uh, drives the water water through the cooling circuit. Heat from the engine is absorbed by the water coolant and uh, dissipated through the radiator. Uh, which which diverts flow to the radiator only when the temperature is above a threshold this is the principle behind this engine cooling system this model includes fixed uh, displacement pump uh, fluid jacket and uh, radiator and thermostat this method allows energy to be converted downstream enabling the proper propagation of information throughout the thermal liquid network here you can see the radiator block and the expansion tank block and thermostat and pump is a piston after run it shows the piston temperature block is the engine system the engine subsystem having this fluid jacket and uh, sensor here is a piston thermal mass it is in this block parameter this block models a fluid jacket in a thermal liquid network to absorb heat from the surroundings it assumes that uh, there is a non negligible volume of uh, liquid inside the uh, jacket to uh, model the effects of uh, dynamic compressibility and the thermal capacity. The heat is exchanged is calculated based on a, a nasal number of correlation. This port H here, the port A, A, A and H there is the port H is thermal con conserving port representing the surface through the which transfer trans, uh, heat transfer occurs. Here, these are the parameters liquid volume is the jacket and the uh, characteristic longitudinal length cross cross sectional area of ports a and b pressure loss and these are the parameters you have to set these are the default parameters also you can set the variables that is the pressure of liquid volume temperature of liquid volume specific internal st energy storage density of um, liquid volume is also we can set these uh, values in this block uh, then this is the expansion tank block in this in this tank block you can uh, see the relief value uh, valve and uh, and pressure valve and tank area in this expansion tank block is it is taken from this uh, thermal uh, liquid blocks it's available here in, the, in this matlab here this is a radiator block this in this block model a radiator in a thermal liquid network that dissipates heat to the surrounding and also uh, you can uh, calculate the heat uh, heat exchange with air is calculated based on the specific dissipation lookup table as a function of mass flow rate uh, through the radiator. Here also, here also you, you have to set the parameters and variables. Here the, the default one we leave, leave, leave it for default one. This is a pump plug. This is a fixed displacement pump. This block models a simple fixed displacement hydraulic pump in a thermal liquid network. The pump leakage is uh, set by the volumetric. Uh, efficiency the mechanical losses in the drive shaft are modeled by applying a friction torque and proportional to the pressure difference the the one more uh, thing is the the pump does not exchange heat with the surroundings and this is a port s uh, is the mechanical uh, rotational conserving port representing the drive shaft uh, this positive rotation results in the liquid flowing from port a to port b is a part of positive rotation here also you have to set the parameters and variables what is the uh, uh, volume of displacement and volumetric efficiency at normal condition and uh, this uh, shaft angular velocity and uh, liquid pressure density and liquid kinetic viscosity also you have to set this, set this value here also you have to give the mass flow rate uh, variables in this uh, as, as per priority you can choose this is a shaft speed and uh, these were uh, liquid uh, thermal liquid uh, settings it is called a TL then afterwards in this in this blocks also the thermal liquid setting block provides uh, the, can, can be parameterized either by two uh, two dimensional blocks or uh, two dimensional tables or one dimensional vectors here they are two dimensional tables and based on temperature and pressure here you can set the values it says it may be two dimensional or one dimensional vector based on temperature or uh, with the temperature and pressure you can choose here here a temperature vector and pressure vector and atmospheric pressure you have to give here the valid pressure and uh, temperature regions parameters you can set valid, validity matrix are uh, it has to be specified and minimum values here here you have to give, give the validity matrix in the form of uh, pressure and temperature value in the form of uh, validity matrix here uh, these blocks are used used in this uh, shaft, shaft speed to the input to the pump 
here also it has source code here in this blocks you can change the values this is ps constant is 0 0.75 here itself you can modify the values uh, modify the shaft speed after that we will get the output graph uh, to plot the temperature and mass flow and also uh, we can plot the density of coolant also you can plot the flare properties this plus shows the density of uh, coolant at the different locations in the cooling system over time take some more times to uh, now we can see, see the piston temperature output this is your piston temperature output also you can see the by using simscap uh, result explorer block it's an interactive tool already mentioned in our uh, channel videos uh, it is the use of uh, simulink result explorer block here it is available before uh, before you run this is a parameter estimation and uh, here uh, simscape block simscape statistic viewer and simscape uh, variable viewer also there here now you can see the output of um, yeah, this engine cooling system block compared with piston temperature versus mass flow in engine cooling system this is a radiator one this is a blue line indicates radiator, radiator mass flow and bypass was my password mass flow this one this is a piston temperature also you can see the <coughs> plot density of coolant the fluid density in the system the blue line indicates was plus fluid density and bypass was and radiator was here uh, this plus shows the effect of opening the opening that uh, thermostat in the engine cooling system the temperature of the piston climbs steadily until the thermostat opens um, at, the, at this point the flow of coolant through the radiator climbs sharply and the flow of coolant through the bypass force uh, decreases become coolant uh, coolant because the coolant passing through the radiator releases the heat to the atmosphere the piston temperature rises more slowly using this one also you can see the uh, fluid properties is a um, properties where uh, it shows versus pressure, density, and temperature. Here also some in drop down list you can see, uh, see the thermal conductivity and uh, isothermal models, bulk models, and uh, uh, iso, iso, isobaric thermal expansion coefficient, and uh, some more uh, parameters you can analyze with the density, pressure, and temperature of this. Uh, it is all under the fluid properties. Here using this this uh, simscape result result explorer you can see the simscape result explorer is available in matlab uh, matlab here what are the blocks are used here angular velocity source block and bypass source block all the blocks are uh, available in this uh, in this list you can select angular velocity source if you want to see the angular velocity source input w r s t in this in this manner you will, you will get the values this is a bypass source and uh, temperature and pressure values and what is say this is your engine here you can see the in this manner at each and every every block you can see the uh, output graph by using this interactive uh, simscap result explorer block this engine one the mechanical rotation reference you can see the uh, output and also you can see the radiator temperature and pressure each and every block you can see the the uh, viscous friction points and what is the shaft speed function also you can see no crossing you can see this block is, you can see, uh, see the thermal liquid check this block in, the, in this manner you can analyze each and every block in the, in the form of 
uh, graphical also you can see this uh, see this code also that by using this code you can um, uh, automate your process for example you can change the shaft shaft speed you can uh, change the um, uh, radiator properties you can change the thermostat properties you can change the engine properties uh, now uh, the engine uh, by using this uh, thermal liquid blocks how we can design engine cooling system by using this mat uh, matlab thank you